So like you guys probably already know, TikTok is one of the most important platforms when it comes to promoting your own brand through content. And whether you know how to edit or not, editing is a huge difficulty when it comes to creating content a lot of the time. That's why I'm trying to make this video your one-stop destination for all things TikTok editing. I'm going to be covering my own process from start to finish, so hopefully it can teach you on how to actually start editing TikToks yourself. But if you guys do enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It really helps me out. I think over 75% of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed yet. So make sure to do that. We're super close to 100,000 subscribers. But with that being said, let's get right into the video. Okay, guys. So I am on my computer right now. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to navigate on over to DaVinci Resolve Download. We're just going to go to the DaVinci Resolve page. We're going to go down here to free download. I'm going to have a link to this in the description for you guys to check out. So just go check out the DaVinci Download. All you're going to do is download it, run the setup. And then once you've actually done that, you're going to open DaVinci. So I'm going to see you guys once I've done that. So once we're in DaVinci, Vinci, what we're going to do is we're going to open a new project and we're actually just going to name it literally whatever. So I'm just going to call it TikTok tutorial for the sake of this video. And we can see once we're in DaVinci, we have these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different tabs. We're always going to do most of our work in the third tab, which is the edit tab. And to initialize this project to set it up for TikTok format, which is the first step, we're going to go here to file project settings. And then we're going to change our timeline frame rate to 60 as well as click this box that says use vertical resolution, because obviously, we're making TikToks and not YouTube long form videos. Okay, so quickly before the tutorial starts, I want to quickly mention my editing packs that I have available right now. Basically, I have two different tiers of editing pack. We have my $5 editing pack, which is for beginners that only want to spend $5. It's super budget friendly and it has literally everything you could ever need for Fortnite montages, content, any other gaming montages, etc. There's a ton of motion graphics in there, subtitle presets, Fortnite presets. I'm going to leave you guys a link for that. But if you guys didn't see, I just recently released my 2024 editing pack which is basically that pack but updated i have so much more content related stuff so if you are a youtuber and upcoming content creator you definitely need to check that pack out one's five dollars one's ten dollars if you did buy my previous pack and you enjoyed it i definitely recommend that you take the next step and buy the ten dollar pack it's so worth it but i don't want to go on any longer if you guys want to check out the announcement video where i go over everything in the pack be sure to go check that out that'll be at the top of the description links to both packs are gonna be at the top of the description as well let's get right into the tutorial now the next step is going to be locating our footage so we're going to come over here to wherever we have our footage saved to and we're going to drag in whatever vertical tiktok footage that we have so for example i'm going to use this file mvi underscore 2396 because it's a tiktok that i recorded it's in the format that we're looking for and honestly that's just that so after we've imported it we're actually just going to drag it into our timeline just like this and we can see that obviously there's a lot more in this video than what we want we have me fixing my hair me you know doing whatever me with my takes where i didn't say things properly where i'm redoing them kind of thing um, so that's just a brief example of that and i'm going to quickly get to cutting in a second but i just wanted to kind of show you what this looks like in the timeline so basically the main tool that we're going to be utilizing for this next step cutting is going to be the blade tool so to activate the blade tool we can either come here click on the razor or we can just press b on our keyboard to actually activate it just like this and when it's red that means we have it selected so while this is red we can see that we are given a blade tool prompt on the actual clip itself with the red kind of preview thing and we're actually just going to cut right before our first line of the TikTok. click on the blank space press delete and then drag this over to the side now what we want to do is we're going to find that first sentence so boom our first sentence right there so we're going to cut right before we don't want all this dead space after so obviously we're going to cut right after we're going to get rid of before and then what we're going to do is we're going to cut right before that second line delete and drag it over so it's back to back boom there we go we have the two different lines lined up one after another and let's just pretend that these end up being the only lines in the video we're just going to use these select them and drag them over now the next step which you guys should be utilizing in your videos if you are a beginner you probably haven't heard about them j cuts and l cuts i personally use l cuts a ton and i personally use j cuts a ton in like all of my videos i personally use l cuts in like all my videos because they are amazing but that's basically that so let me quickly show you how to do that so for an l cut for example 
you're going to drag the second clip above where the first clip ends we're going to right click on the first clip unlink it and then we're going to drag it so it forms almost this l shape right here like you can see j cut would be the complete opposite so if we did a j cut we would drag the secondary footage underneath just like this unlink this one and then that way it kind of overlaps in that sense so that's how you do that and i just normally come through and i'll j cut l cut you know whatever i'm looking for i'll do that for the clip itself so that's how i set up my cutting timeline now moving on what i'll normally do is i will compound clip this by right clicking on everything after left clicking holding and selecting everything compound clip and what we'll move into is color correction so for me the only thing i really change is the saturation i'll change that to like 60 just to bring the brightness of our face up as we can see without it let me just quickly show you without it we are looking pretty pale i can't lie but once we change it to 60 or 65 for example we can see it definitely brings the color in our face the background the lighting the pc etc it's a win-win situation so that's why we always utilize color correction it's super important now the next thing that i normally do is i add my secondary footage so for example if i talk about a gaming setup right here i'll kind of come through the entire video and i'll mark whatever i need to add so let's say i want to add a pop-up of, of a gaming setup right here so i'll add a marker by pressing m and wherever i want it to end i'll press m and let's say i talk about you know an xbox right here i'll press m and then i stop talking about it i press m so let's say i want to pop up of a gaming setup right here i want an xbox right here super super easy i will go on you know google or wherever i have stock footage and i will download the assets i actually already have some of my computer so for example gaming setup i have i don't know if i have an xbox i do i have a video of an xbox so i'm going to drag in the video of the xbox now what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag in the video of the, or the picture of the gaming setup first and we're kind of going to have that pop up right here just to show you guys an example secondary footage and then for this i'm just going to drag in you know a clip of the xbox itself let's say i was talking about the xbox drag it in like this and then i'll cut it down that way you know we got the clip of the xbox right there i know it's not exactly what we're talking about in the video but i'm just using it kind of as like a loose example if that makes sense um yeah that's basically that so what i'll do after that is i'll normally add transitions by coming through here adding a transition adjustment layer or i will literally just go to davinci bring these out so i can opacity fade them which that looks really clean i normally do that sometimes and that's literally that dude now before doing subtitles and music i'll do a step where I add my zooms and I'll quickly show you how I do that so I'll click on this layer right here I'll keyframe it at one by clicking on this little dot beside zoom I'll go after we actually have the pop-up because obviously the video is being hidden so I'll change that to whatever value I want 0 .0, 1.02 for example and then right before we go back to the video I'll change it back to one now when we come back over here to a pop-up 0 0.02 this one change it back to one and then at the very very end of the video I will change it back again to like 0 0.03 or something like that that way we got the little zoom in going so if you look at the pc right here we can see that it's zooming in and that is basically how you do a zoom effect now second last step subtitles a super easy step i'll normally get rid of all my markers and then what i'll do is i'll come through and i'll add markers to literally every single word that i speak so i'll come through and go like this let's say i'm speaking sentences i want to add two words to a subtitle it'll look something like this but a lot more condensed i'll tell you that for sure you're gonna have a lot more markers than this and then what i'll do i'll drag in a singular text layer i'll change it to a simple word i'll pick the font that i want to use so for example akira expanded i love this font I'm change it down to like 65 point font bring it down a little bit and then what i'll do is i'll come down here to drop shadow change this to like negative six or maybe i'll actually change it to six six and then this one can be negative six yeah negative six and then i'll change the opacity to 100 that's basically our text layer right there and then what i'll do is i'll come through and on every single word where we have that marker i'm cutting it using the blade tool be on our keyboard again and that way we have individual text layers on each word and then what i'll do literally just by listening to the video i'll come through i'll change this to like this is the best whatever i'll just come through and literally change them individually so it's like this is the best blah 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 come through change your subtitles that is that now lastly we have our music you could easily source music off of tiktok or youtube just add in whatever song it is drag it in adjust the volume levels it's super simple so just for example 
if I added in literally any sort of random song, PC's being a little slow right now. So for example, if I literally dragged in something like this, just a random song, I'll cut it down using the blade tool again, and then I'll adjust it. Normally good volume for TikToks like negative 22 to negative 25 decibels. That is about it, dude. Um, that is how you edit TikToks, kind of in an ultimate guide for beginners, if that makes sense. And that's that. So once you finish your video, you go here to the deliver tab, fill out all the information. You know, I have my render settings, my personal render settings, and my editing pack if you are interested in those but that's basically how you do it but if you guys did enjoy the video and you want to support me make sure to like comment subscribe it helps me out a lot if you guys have an idea for a tutorial something you've been looking for but you can't quite find make sure to leave it down below in the comments and i'll be sure to get to it at some point in the near future but i will see you guys later i hope you guys did enjoy peace out